What's up, baby dolls? Thanks for tuning in to the Look What We Found podcast. My name is Daniel, and I am here with Louis, Christopher. Welcome to the motherfucking show. Whoa, that kind of energy today. We are back at it again. All right, here's my favorite. Uh, no, this is not my favorite. This is my <laughs> least favorite. Okay, well, okay that's way, a way to commit. Yeah. Way to commit. I, mean, I don't think I've ever second. talked about my favorite anything on yeah, this show. Yeah, yeah. And is then show, immediately take it back. This is a show about things we hate. And um, <laughs> is it? I feel like a lot of it is. But I feel like it's our gripes a lot of time <laughs> okay, for sure. Yeah. All right, my thing is. What do you like? What? No, no that's don't. not what we're doing right oh. now. He doesn't like. The worst, the stupidest hobby, <laughs> okay. in my opinion, foodies. Foodies? Foodies. I guess so, because you, you can say, like, breathing is my favorite fucking thing. I just don't understand how eating food can, can be considered a hobby. Mm. And how people can consider it to be their hobby. I'll t- I'll as if it's how. a hobby that they can get better at right or improve upon mm-hmm. or have any sort of accomplishment whatsoever mm. go ahead chris you're, you're you fucking way wrong on everything go, <laughs> this guy's obviously <laughs> a fucking foodie no no i don't consider myself that but define a hobby well what is what is what makes a hobby a hobby a hobby is something that you don't have to do to live mm. like eat right but you don't have to eat good or splurge or go out of your way or travel spend more money than you probably should mm-hmm. to enjoy your meal. Mm-hmm. So you're defending the foodies. You think the food I, is a, I, well, a, a I think, good hobby. I think it, I'm it, sure a lot of people are mad about it. It, it, takes, it takes up a lot of your time. Mm-hmm. If, if you really, if you just travel to, a, to another a distant city, another state, some people go to other countries for food. You're spending a lot of money yeah. for your hobby it, with, with, with the sole purpose of... Uh, <laughs> consuming the food in this other state city country whatever it may be specific chef a specific chef specific ingredients. restaurant mm-hmm. there's a, a lot of a lot of time doing research in what you want to taste how, how you want to when, when you want to go when's the best time i i just think it can it can consume a lot of your time i'm not saying it can't consume a lot of your time i think what but i you think- said a hobby that you something you don't have to do to live you don't yeah. have, you don't have to do any of that to live you well, just you want to enjoy good food. You have to eat. I think you don't that have it to should eat be. That. I think that it should be something that you can get better at. Oh, well, that, that, can, something... that can't be right. Okay. Well, that. What do you think, Louis? You think I, a hobby has to be something you can improve on? I think I typically right. Yeah, it's something that you start well, to do, and that mm-hmm. you develop. You start. Oh, I'm going to start woodworking as a hobby, and as you get better, go throughout your life, you get better and better. You want to play the fucking saxophone mm. or you want to do a podcast and you mm. start getting better and better and better. Yeah. And that way, your hobby is something that you can continue throughout your life and right. improve on it. Mm. Eating food, in my opinion, is a stupid fucking hobby yeah. because anyone can fucking do it and you can't get that good in it. Sure, you can waste your whole life trying to eat food, mm-hmm. you know, or not waste your life. Do that your whole life. I just don't think... That you're going well, to, you know what I mean? That the, you can get good the at The sense it. of accomplishment and what you can get better at is finding the good restaurant, finding that aha. Like, cause it's, I was thinking that it's too. Kind of like, it, it's kind of like a gambling thing where you, you're, you're pulling the slot, the slot arm. Researching is part of the hobby. But don't it's, you feel like that you didn't do shit? No, that's not true at all. But fucking eat the cook's food and now you feel accomplished because you found someone else's food? The cook, the chef, cookie. That's a hobby. Those are hobbies that I can get behind. The foodie, not something I can get behind. Mm. I see what you're saying. I, I kind of see both your points. I think what you have a problem with is labeling something a hobby that you're going to have to do anyways or you fucking die, right? Or, or something like, that's, oh, I drink water. Or something for- that you can improve on, like get better at, you know? Yeah. Um, I do also agree that it is something that you can... I hate to say the term get better at it, but you, you can um, improve on maybe finding different things or the way you research different restaurants. Or mm-hmm. Now, are you the real artist in that exchange? Absolutely not. Right. But there's people that don't take chances with their food. They are... Um, they like children. Yes. They go to a restaurant. They'll get the burger. The wings, the chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. They'll eat off the kids' menu, and then there's some people that have, for lack of a better term, a more sophisticated palate 
or just an open mind is what I like to say. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm even that type of person. You know, I try to give things a chance. Other things, you know, I'm not as as um, experimental as Chris with certain certain things like pig's feet, which he loves. Right. And shit like that. And I'm not putting I'm not them down. I just, that was necessary. Well, I, I think I hit a nerve when I said it. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, he got pretty upset about it. Yeah, but you know All what? All I know is but that you know if what? a person said that there's a foodie, that they're a foodie, I know not, I'm not going to get along which with I, which <laughs> You know I, what I mean? Which, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to have anything in common which with I've this never person, done. you know? I've never done. You've never heard me say that. Say what? That I'm a foodie. No, no. I just, just your angry reaction when I said it yeah. Yeah. makes me feel that you might be somewhat of a foodie. Well, I, I just, I don't, I think you're being dismissive because you don't really care about food. Well, yeah, it's my fucking opinion. That's the whole right, point. Right, right. But my point is, this is my opinion. Well, it's and not that I'm I don't saying, give a fuck guys, about guys. food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what I'm saying is, I, I, I don't feel that way about, um, I'm, I'm not a foodie and I don't think I'm a foodie. And you said... Being a chef is seems more like what, what would consider be considered a more traditional hobby, I guess, right? Sure. But I also cook. I do that a lot, and so to me, it's somewhat like, mm, I I think maybe there's a perspective on food that you may not share with a lot of people. True. Same with maybe I, you don't strike me as a film guy. Okay. That's not something you can get better at. But there's film buffs. It's true. Right? There's people that you you're you're a musician, you you've played instruments, you 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 still dabble in a lot of stuff, but there's people that just like music without playing an instrument. That's also something you can't get better at. That's but true. there's huge, huge music fans that have hundreds of records and know a bunch of music, but don't they, they don't play any instruments. Right. And I think it's somewhere along the Also lines someone I wouldn't get along with. Oh, really? Probably somebody, not. Somebody, I just like somebody to- heavy on music theory and on music theory, I don't mind, oh, okay. uh, but um, I, I just, that, I, I like to do shit, I guess. You right, know what right. I mean? I, I'm yeah. not the type to like, I'm not saying I don't mm-hmm. like to listen to music, but yeah. if I'm going to listen to it, I want to know something about it and, 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 you, and do it. But you're you know? also not big into, I, I know you cook for yourself all the time, but you're not somebody who cooks. Um, let me try this, right? I don't, I don't think you are. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. What do you mean, do you, like, let me try this? Um, do you research recipes? Do you try th- new things all the time? Well, just with me and Amber, like, when but, we have the time. But no, no, we're not like, hey, let's go get this fucking spice from the store, and we're going to use look up, the yeah. cheese grater to slice it onto the top of the, um, yeah, right, right. you know, mm-hmm. European tofu that I got <laughs> yeah, from yeah. fucking, I don't know, yeah. this obscure market. Well, yeah, well, if you make it sound all pretentious like that, yeah, it sounds yeah. Well, bad. I'm fucking trying to, Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to slant the whole fucking <laughs> argument. Yeah. Uh, I, I tend to lean a little bit more. To, I don't think it's a respectable hobby in the sense that it merits any sort of admiration or respect. Right. Uh, a fucking man to that. But, but <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I take no offense to that. I, yeah, I cook. So. Clearly. But, but I do think it's like I, I can get along with somebody that's a foodie if they tell me like, oh, you know what? Here's a good restaurant. Uh, only on Thursday nights. They have this on the menu. You want to go then? And the, they prepare it this way, and you're going to fucking love it. And if that's about the extent I'm willing to exchange with that type of person, but I do think it comes in handy. Sure. Like, and I think even you would maybe um, <clears throat> benefit from an exchange like that with a foodie. With like, oh, you know what? Uh, the missus and I went to, to this restaurant, and it was just fucking exquisite. Give this a shot. And then you take Amber. You're like, holy fuck, that was good. So that's about as far I'm, as I'm willing to. I would love to have a foodie like around, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like the person that could research all of the, maybe, hey, this is the really good, I just spent five hours mm-hmm. online, I found the restaurant, yeah. Yeah. and it, you're like, shut blah, up, you fucking blah, idiot. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm rolling my eyes yeah, like, what yeah. a fucking loser, you know? Yeah. And then, but. But then on your anniversary when you want to take Amber somewhere nice. Then I'm calling him up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, and for sure he could be like, or she could be like in the group. Yeah. But I just know not I'm not going not gonna to get along with right, him very right. well, you know? That's all. Yeah. I yeah. get it, man. Uh, but I, I kind of see both points. Uh, I, I would enjoy just having an acquaintance, if I, if I may say, just say it that way. Just an acquaintance. Don't need to get all fucking pretentious on me. Thank you. I'll try it out. And then if I get a new restaurant on my hit list, fuck it. You know? But 
We're good. We're good. All right. All right, guys. We're going to try this out. It's time for the Look What We Found news update for this week. All right. Maricopa County, Arizona officials say 20% of voting locations experience hiccups with the tabulators. And Arizona officials in Maricopa County on Tuesday said that roughly 20% of the polling sites were experiencing issues with the tabulation machines. Now, the tabulation machines Is that are, what they're called? are voting machines? Yes. When they start calling when? them tabulators. What's a tab- <laughs> Fucking tabulators. <laughs> also, I okay. just found that out about a second ago. <laughs> Can we? Okay. I, I, it's had never, time, I had never heard it called. It's time to stop the m- voting machines. Yes? Why? Because they're always fucking malfunctioning. We, we do what instead? The fucking paper. Oh, a little, hole, Go in a little there, hole punch? Punch the fucking hole in the ballot and let's get done with it. Why are we Don't using they, the fucking machine? They still analog. lose those things though, right? I mean, I'm not saying you're you're wrong. I'm saying t- didn't we I think have you're saying you're wrong. With, yeah, no, no, it's no, fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying the other one isn't fucking bulletproof either. But uh, which one's the less of... The two evils, I guess. Well, I, th- I don't I fucking think the, know I, anymore. I think the piece of paper, probably, right? <laughs> I just think the electronic ones can be fucking rigged. Mm. Well, I think I see. That's how I feel it's about like the paper pr- ones too. How can they be rigged if it's a, a paper one? Weren't they disappearing all of a sudden, or appear more appearing at some point? And like, how do these fucking things keep sure. coming uh, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what they I got mean. You there, dude. Either <laughs> if this guy's still mad about the movie <laughs> thing, yeah, can't get over it. <laughs> No, uh, I think that they both have their advantages. And dis- they sure more can appear, more than they could shred them. Yeah. But I think that the electronic ones just have a bigger um, risk. Just like fucking, you go play the the slot machines or an electronic card game in Vegas. I just think it has a bigger potential for cheating as opposed to the card dealer, where you actually have the physical cards and you can you can touch them. That's all. Uh, you, Chris, what I, do you think? I fuck. I don't know, man. I I, I think. Uh, I see. I think I see what Daniel's saying. That there's just the 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 web you cast is much wider through an electronic thing, right? Of when, course. Whenever 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 there's anything electronic, you have such a long like it, it's so much harder to get rid of a bunch of ballots that are paper ones and add a bunch of new ones than to just to have a system that has I don't know a hundred thousand votes. And fuck with that, right? Yeah, and then you get to the thing, and, and then there's this whole it doesn't work thing. You know, like the machines don't work every fucking election. Every damn election, they're, they're broken. Okay, so anyway, next on the news, we have Portland <laughs> prosecutors decide against charging a man who finally stabbed landlord dressed as Michael Myers. <laughs> so basically, this guy went in this guy's home in Portland uh, and uh, was dressed as Michael Myers got stabbed by the person. Mm. Now, I don't think this guy necessarily had a weapon. He was just disguised as Michael Myers, went into somebody's house, and the owner stabbed him and killed him, and they said, it's fine. How long ago? This Halloween. This Halloween, so last week. Last week, yeah. I don't know, man. You can't be killing people dressed up on Halloween. What if they come into your house? Then you kill them. Then you kill them, right? Yeah, Now, it's just an interesting story because... If a person just entered your house dressed yeah. as a normal person, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be on the news. And they got killed. <laughs> the person that, un- unless the guy had a gun or was about to kill him, you can't just kill a person that walks in your house, mm-hmm. right? But since the guy was dressed like Michael Myers, I said, yeah. well, he was dressed like Michael Myers, <laughs> and they fucking let it go, and the guy was uh, like, so he dropped did, all the didn't charges. say if he had a weapon or not? No, I'm just saying that he didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. So all there was was a, would there any any word on why he was in, at that in the man's house. I think he just wanted to like play a prank on somebody he didn't know. <laughs> on someone he didn't know. Well, that's a risk you take. Because I was at the <laughs> the Halloween party the other day, and there was a guy circling the block dressed as Michael Myers, yeah. and he was just kind of like peering into our party, uh-huh. just to be an asshole. Oh, you he know? was like he was just trying to scare trying everybody. to scare everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, how do you I guys see. feel about that type of stuff? Like when they do. When let's just say you're minding your own business, passing out candy in your front uh, porch, whatever, and then here comes this guy that doesn't know you but gets a kick out of fucking scaring people he doesn't know, and then something might happen. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't, I, I personally don't like it. I don't like it either. If you go into a maze or, or you know, you're entering that, you made a decision, you're entering that. If there's an agreement between the person with the maze, or if you go to Horror Nights, there's an agreement that I'm here to fucking get spooked. 
and they're they're there to spook me. Right. But if you're fucking minding your own business in your own house, there's no agreement there, dude. You're fucking trespassing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's I. That's how I feel. Also, sorry. Go. I was oh, gonna yeah. say, what's your favorite? What what would be your favorite <laughs> holiday to kill somebody? What oh. do you think's the best holiday to kill somebody? Christmas. <laughs> Chris? Easter. No, no. I take <laughs> Easter. <laughs> Easter. Easter? Yeah, Easter. Okay, why? Because so, then, then you could you could put little eggs in his coffin. And people... <laughs> his funeral's can... the same day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I got, my, I got a news article. No? Yes. Real, real. Okay, another news. <laughs> Cher reminds haters that she can hold hands with anyone she wants. That's what she says? That's what it says. <laughs> Okay, so here it is. Perfect. It says, uh, the icon who is 76, share for anybody under, I don't know, 30 that may not know who she Cher is. Share 76? 76. Wow. Been super, fa- been super famous her entire life, right? Right. Since she was like 19, dude. She's 76, recently photographed holding hands with a rapper and music executive, Alexander Edwards, AE, 36 years old. Wow. Okay. In she, Hollywood. So that's 40 years, right? Yeah. yeah. 36, 76. Yeah, yeah right, in yeah. Bet- right in between our age group here mm-hmm. with a 76 year old. Uh, all right, so it's right. A, it'd be like if one of us was dating a, a 76 year old. Or yeah. Cher. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 so, so, so uh, apparently, this guy is, uh, he's, he's, he's been, she's been getting a lot of criticism for it. And she's been kind of clapping back at everybody. She has? Yes. Yeah, she, why is she getting criticism for it? He should be. If anybody gets criticized in that exchange, <laughs> it should be him. Oh, you think so? Well, well, I, well she's apparently, a fucking pimp. Apparently, Are you a, kidding me? He, she's. I don't know. I think she's. Well, a, he's a known cheater. Oh, that's is that why. why? Or that's, is it the age? That's what, that's what they're saying. Oh. That's what, that's what the article is saying here. But let's, it's probably the age. But let's do Louis' thing. I like Louis' All thing. All right. What's yeah. Louis' thing? Who is. Who's hating on Cher for having a young man? No, no. Who should be <laughs> hated on more? If, if you were to hate on one. Let's say. Let's yeah, say I was going to say nobody. Nobody, good, right? Good for them. Yeah, yeah. Great. Have fun. But let's be haters for a okay. second. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is, yeah. Should we be hating on the young guy dating. Let's say they get married. Uh huh. The young guy marrying the old lady or the old lady robbing this 36 year old cradle? The old lady. The old lady she get hated on? Yeah. I disagree. More, we have to pick one, though. Yeah. I'm picking uh, the young guy. Me too. Okay, why? Because uh, if I put myself in both of their shoes for just a second here, or, or even better, one of you fucks. And then you go, hey, dude, I'm dating. I'm going out with the 76 year old. Oh, I'm gonna shit. go. You're fuck, like, Chris. Yeah, and I'm like, but if we're, I'm like, it's Cher. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. It's like, what kind of card did she get? You? <laughs> no, it, but if we're 76, and then you come to me, Chris, saying, "Hey, I just started dating a 36 year old." I'm gonna be like, this motherfucker. This motherfucker. <laughs> so that's how I'm. So uh, whoever you're friends with, it's, it's fine. Well, it's because I put myself in in who I would talk shit or praise or whatever if they're in my circle. And if, if, if it would be, obviously, this is my circle. Uh, if you guys would be the 76-year-old, I would be like, holy shit, good for you, man. Right. And then if you guys were the 36-year-old, I'd be like, what? Mm, explain. You know, I, that's how I feel. What Maybe I shouldn't. What if, it's, what, if, what if it's your mom and your dad's been dead for 30 years and she's dating a young guy? Fuck yes. All for it. Still okay. same mentality. Okay, but you're switching up now who you're hating on. No, what are you talking about? But he's saying he's, he's, um, he's with whoever... He- if it's his friend, he's with them. Oh, if so it's that's his mom, like, he's so, with them. So his stance is like his stance is whoever he's closer <laughs> whoever to. Whoever is closest to. No, that's what it you're seems saying like. if my mom, my dad's dead now. And yeah, my mom been, dates somebody for young, a long time. younger. Yeah, uh, my mom's a pimp. Fuck yes. Mm, I see. And that's what I said. If you guys were, if we were older and yeah, you're dating yeah. a 36 year old, I'd be like, fuck, good for you guys, right? I think the okay. Here's here's the other side of the the coin. The third side of the coin. <laughs> 72 year old Cher, or 72 year old, I guess, um, anybody, I guess Cher. But Cher. Cher will date a young guy, pretty, lots of upside. The, the, this 36 year old guy, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess you go into like, he's only dating her because she's Cher, right? <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't date yeah. a, a. Would a, he a, date any other 72 year old? The answer is no. 76. 70, would he date any other 76 year old? Yeah. No. But he what, fucking but, wouldn't. But what other 76? Would she date any 36? Would a 76 year old person mm. date a 36? 
Yes, they would I every see, fucking time. So I think the jury decided on our news <laughs> report. Wait, wait, hold yeah. on, hold Since on. I'm the judge of the jury. <laughs> This motherfucker. Chris is like in a fucking cage. Yeah, motherfucker. Wait, because because uh, uh, my thing is like that. How good does Cher look at seventy six? At fifty? At sixty? She looks amazing. I don't know how many other seventy six year olds that look like that. So just to cut them, up, a, a, just a little tiny bit of slack. Right. She looks sixty. She looks fifty six, maybe. Sure. Yeah, yeah. She looks fifty six. So, that, so maybe you know if if, if all seventy six year old here, Louis. I'll show you the picture that's on here with them walking together. That's her now, dude. So at 76 years old. So again, so he's but, a known cheater, supposedly, right? And she's, she's getting a lot of hate. And I, I, she's clapping back. And people are saying that, uh, that, she's a, that he's a cheater. And she, she's responding saying, I'm in heart emoji. I'm in love, not blinded by it. And she <laughs> says, uh, know what I know. Smoke doesn't always mean fire emoji. So she's 76 and she looks good. And she uses emojis. Okay. And smoke doesn't always mean fire. <laughs> yeah. What is that supposed to mean? And she's saying, I'm not defending us. Haters are going to hate. Hold so on. She, doesn't I, matter if we're happy. We're not bothering anybody. Just because there's rain don't mean there's any clouds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just because the road wet it, doesn't mean I'm crashing. The saying is literally the opposite, right? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Right. What are you talking about, Cher? If there's no smoke. When one of our followers tweeted that Edwards she... <laughs> has a history of cheating and shared the article about it, Cher responded to tweet, Babe, English is my first language, which makes less sense than the other comment about the fire. <laughs> <laughs> what? She's just throwing out random <laughs> sayings yeah. in order to try to validate what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. She, she reminds me of somebody. Who the fuck is it? But she is a pimp, and I don't, I don't think we should hate on either one of them for whatever their reasons are. It's no. Not, it's, it's because you know what? The shoe's on the other foot. Mm. Another oh. thing she might say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to fucking twist at that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. That does it for this week's Look What We Found news update. Tune in next week for more adventures. All right. Adventures. I don't, I don't know. know why I said how, it, how, but. What did you think about the bit? Uh, should we discuss it now? <laughs> 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 it's so hard for us to fucking not talk about something for a really long time, you know. Yeah. I was like, let's do. Okay, we're not going to talk about the. No, we'll okay. Talk about can, it can, I, can I? Can I? Can I? You mind if I jump in real quick? No, go yeah. ahead. I don't have a story. I just have something real quick. Uh, love is blind. <laughs> yes. Uh, is that something Cher said? <laughs> 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 you know, love can really see. <laughs> so, Love is Blind season three came out. I'm a, I'm a little late. I think okay. it was back in October. Okay. So um, I, jumped, I jumped in just because... Do we have to explain the premise of the show? Love is Blind, I think so. Think? For okay. people that haven't seen it, it's, it's uh, people that are brought into a house where they're separated by men and women. And essentially what happens is that they have dates where they can't see the other person. They come in. They each have their separate rooms and they communicate they that pods. way. The pods. And they look like little pods. Right? And they have 10 days. Ten fucking days. That's it? Ten days. And they have to propose if they want to be with that person. Right. And they have to propose without looking. Without in, ever in, seeing them. Without ever seeing them. That's so it's not crazy. like going on a date like the old like the old fashion show. No, no, no. And and, and here like next. Right. And, and, like, and here's here's a few things I want to say. I just I, I it it was it was number two at, at, at the time I watched it on Netflix. I was like, let's see what the fuck this is about. I knew I knew I was late to the party, but I needed right. to check it out. And there's so much craziness, Daniel. You're you're a little bit of a fan, right? And Louis, you have I'm seen somewhat it. of a fan. Yes. Okay. So I just saw the first episode because that's what that's what I could muster uh, season in, three. in three days. Season, season three, three yeah. right? Okay. And just so, the first episode, you it took you three days to watch it. Yes, because oh, like, what I had the to, Godfather I, movie. What the fuck? <laughs> no, are you talking I, about? I, I, I hated it that I much. Needed, I needed a, a break. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Okay. So right off the bat, uh, it's uh, Nick Lachey and uh, his uh, wife. His wife, and they did um, what is that other one too? <laughs> I think they're they're making oh, they 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 have this market of dating shows. Are they on another dating show too? Yeah, they're oh, okay. they're in that one. What is it fucking called? It's also a huge Netflix one where, uh oh, the ultimatum. Oh, I haven't seen that one. So uh, those people have oh, people you're you right. take in their their. They, so you, that one I feel like I would like too. Oh, you would love that yeah. one, dude. I think I saw the first five minutes, and just like you, I tuned the fuck out. <laughs> Nick Lachey and his girl are like, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking that our relationship that's has them. Been that's them. But it, 
it won't, I think it'll surprise you if you found out that we too had problems. <laughs> yeah, you dick. Everybody does, you piece of shit. Sorry, continue, Chris. All right. Fuck you, Nick Sorry. Lachey. So there, there's, this, <laughs> <laughs> there's this guy that right off the bat, right? So they're like, why are you here? And then he's like, they're spouting their nonsense, their fucking TV nonsense. And one of the guys, a black guy, he goes, um, you know, um, I just I think sometimes race plays a card and status and things like that. And this is a nice change. Perfect. Great. Well said. Agreed. Cool. Maybe that is. a. All right. So right. that same guy goes into the fucking pod for the first time. And the first question is, where are you from? And he says he's from Africa. And then they ask him, what does he do? And then he tells them what he does. So everybody uh-huh. is talking about not going by looks. And this fucking guy, first question, that right off the bat, they know he's black. Right. And they ask him what he does, which he does. I, rem- I don't remember what the fuck he did, but he had money. Another girl is, is, tells every fucking buddy that she's a ballerina. <laughs> Ballet dancer. And everybody's like fucking with their dicks out, like already hard because she's talking about how flexible she is. And, and that, it, literally, wait, that wait. was her first fucking line. But don't you think when she was saying that she was a ballerina dancer that many times that the <laughs> producers were making fun of her because they edited her saying, saying it, it over back. and sure. over. And she was like, I know everyone wants to date it. She wanted she acted like because she said that the guys were just going to fucking flood into her pussy yeah. like the whole fucking nine or something. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah. And it just wasn't the case. No, because she was a dud with zero personality. That's true. But so that was thing one. And then there was this guy, um, uh, Andrew, notes. Andrew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Asian Andrew. Not oh, relevant. the fucking not not relevant. The weirdest okay. fucking guy, <laughs> dude. Do you think that guy was full of shit? <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, of course. So he he oh, says, God, I'm not, I have he to watch. says he can he want he can he, the best sex he's had is tantric sex. What is tantric sex? It's when you can I was, no. when you connect so much with your partner, right? That you feel what she's feeling and she feels what you're feeling. That's what it is. You're not feeling your own pleasure, but your pleasure and her pleasure that you're giving her, you're feeling it back to you and vice versa. Didn't he also and say that he didn't? Damn it. Let me finish. Okay, Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he also says he has many orgasms without ejaculating. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I thought tantric sex was. Yeah, actually. You know who's good at it? According to certain sources, Sting. Oh, right, right, right. Sting's coming all day, every day, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I thought but he also said that he didn't have a lot of experience having did. orgasms. He did. That's at what he said. All. That's what he said. Because he met this older woman who showed him. Who taught, him, him, every- chair? taught him everything. <laughs> <laughs> who, who taught him everything. Yeah. So, dude, so he's, he tells the girl, dude. like, yeah, I have, I have, his goal is to have these mini orgasms. Without anything shooting out of his penis, and he's got to be full of shit, right, dude? This the he's whole got to be an impotent look, motherfucker. The whole and he's time, a weirdo. I was like, is this guy lying right. about everything? That right, he- because he's a wildlife photographer. He's been to all these countries. <laughs> all these countries, dude. He's done yeah. all this. He says tantric sex, and he's like, he just flaunts like how much money he has, and this fake ass deep voice that he drops really low on purpose the whole time. <laughs> oh god! And surprisingly, he it didn't works. get picked. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh. Out of all the guys, I was like, who's going to pick this fucking guy? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody well, picked him. Well, maybe not surprisingly, right? Because they probably saw through all the bullshit. I don't know. Well, they heard through the bullshit. Well, the, uh, Joe, yeah, I'm sorry. Love is blind. <laughs> Literally. Uh, I don't know. What else you got, Chris? There's a fucking guy, Brandon and Alexa, who got fucking engaged episode one, dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this- I watched one episode and motherfucker said, I love you on the first day. And by the time the fucking episode was over, they were fucking engaged. The um, the what the bigger girl and the guy with the the yes, Bre- yeah, 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 this guy Brennan, yes, right? that and, guy, and and Alexa, and she yeah. said yes. She said, dude, they 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 were like, all right, I I I don't know if this is TV shit, but they they were tantric with with their love and like and, Andrew, yes, they're weird. Like they were just like they, they were said, like goo goo gaga, dude. Dude, like they said, I love I you love so fast. And then she, and she's like, I love you so I much. I love you so He's much. Like, I love you and, so and much. And then they were shaking, and then, <laughs> and then, and then, sh- and then they they do the thing where they 
So the way, I guess the way it works is they put people on the opposite doors and there's a red carpet in the middle and then they open both doors and people fucking come in and that's the first time they see each other. Yeah. And then she said, get the fuck out of here. Or are you fucking kidding me or something like that? But I think it was good, but I'm not like sure. Like in a good way? Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. It sounded yeah. good, but maybe it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And then they just like hugged and kissed. And I got to imagine that the moment you put hands on that person, it's got to be so fucking weird because... Or yeah, good, no, that's where them. a lot of them struggle is when they meet each other. Right, because like I, I, I gotta imagine it, it's 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 like when somebody's good on the phone or or over uh, Dude. messages, and then you 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 fucking you have dinner together, and then and then the, all of that that whole spark is just <clears throat> gone. And you have this whole oh, you create this whole image of a person in your mind. You know exactly what you think that they look like, and it's got to be jarring. But for them, it, it last well the imagining <clears throat> what they looked like was very. Very, for them, very it was brief. pretty it was brief. brief, right? Yeah, yeah. So, for they didn't have to go so, through it. So all, 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 the only other thing I have to say is, I that couple, and you may you know a lot more, Daniel, because you're up to date. And mm -hmm. apparently, I learned from you right before the podcast that it's still ongoing and it's actually not over yet because they release the episodes three episodes a week. A week. So, um, I, again, that I I, I, I couldn't get past the one. <laughs> and then <laughs> by so, this time next year, Chris should be done with this season. So Alexa and what's his face. They seem like, like, like it might work. The the one you just talked yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're gonna have to see, Chris. Oh no! But anyway, um, it's, it's but you will see that they have some problems along the way. Oh well, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they have a hu huge problem. Okay, here's my biggest thing about Love Is Blind that drives me crazy. They keep saying the phrase. That's not what love is blind means. <laughs> exactly. They say love is blind, and they go, we're going to find out if love really is blind. And then they're saying love is blind like, like, love, like you love, can't see yeah. anything. And, mm -hmm. and it, me it means that love blinds you. So it, love impairs your judgment. It impairs your judgment. It blinds you. It doesn't let you see or act or 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 think correctly. Yes, that's what it's it means. Not, it's not that love is like love is you oh, can't see yeah, the person. I can't see. But it it really is making them do stupid <laughs> shit. You yeah. know. So maybe they're on this. But that's not love. No, no, it's that's not. That's not love making them do stupid shit. And they say it so often through the show. Is love really blind? <laughs> I'm always like, <laughs> shut looks, up. That sounds just like the motherfucker on this show. Oh, God. oh I can't wait till Louis watches it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna jump on that. Who and yeah, I think I remember season one, what, the one I watched, or at least a few oh, episodes, so and good. it does sound just like that. Mm -hmm. Dude, season one, they mm -hmm. had this guy at the altar, right? <laughs> this guy at because at the end they have their their wedding, and you don't really know if they're gonna say yes till the wedding. Oh, day. really? So they walk up the aisle and they're like, wait, standing wait, 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 hold on. You can, you, they don't know until like people show up to the altar. They they make it seem like, what like is the bo what is, both of the people what make is it the seem like then? they is they it bullshit. Yeah, it is, and they both <laughs> they make it seem like both of them talk to each other like I'm gonna do it when I get there. Are you gonna do it? They're like I'm gonna do it. If you're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. And then they get up there and they alternate asking the guy and the girl on on the couple. So the first time they ask. Guy, do mm -hmm. you? And they're like, no. And their family's like, what the fuck? We flew in from fucking Africa, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then they ask the girl. So, um, <sighs> the so on the first season, they this guy is walking up to the altar. This guy is pouring fucking sweat, oh, dude. God. He's sweating so <laughs> much that it's coming through the armpits on <laughs> his fucking suit jacket. Yeah. You can see it in his <laughs> back, dude. And he's wiping the sweat away as he's saying i do and i'm like what the, the fuck, fuck are you, what are you doing, doing? Yeah, out of there dude is there a money prize no there's i don't there's think so money involved? i think it's just the fame they're going after oh, yeah shit. they have to, they do like a like a after the wedding episode and the guy says he was sweating so much because before the wedding he had a couple hot ch chilies so that's what <laughs> we're making him sweat the whole time. oh because you have to have an after show but dude, yeah. have you have they ever explained why it has to be so extreme? Ten days, dude. Everything, oh, everything is so is so accelerated and and just it's <laughs> everything's just dude. Everything's cracked at a hundred, Louis. Like everything, man. Like the fucking like the way they're expressing themselves. It's weird. There's this guy Bartis who's twenty five years old and he has a real hang up about that because everybody else is in there early to mid thirties. Yeah. And he has this weird thing where he thinks everybody's, everybody's going to judge him for being a kid. And I have a sinking suspicion that he's going to prove them all right. 
That's pretty fucking accurate. Like, I have a secret suspicion that yeah. his 25 year old ass is going to prove that he's 25. Yeah, man. Because he so walked in like, <coughs> oh, fuck, at 25 years old. I got, I got my shit together, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he tells the first girl, hey, how old are you? So he says 25, and she's like, oh, right away, right? Mm -hmm. And he swears, but I have a feeling. He's yeah. going to prove everybody right that, yeah. he's, that he's 25. Now, if you guys were in that type of uh, show, what attribute or what are some of your characteristics that you guys oh, would fuck. pitch? That This is what I want to put out there. This is definitely what I think is going to get and, me. I'm a foodie <laughs> and a podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> I got, I got we you. fucking yeah. knew it. But it's a skill set and I'm really good at it because yeah. I research the restaurants yeah, yeah, yeah. and it takes lots of hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because every hobby, people that play golf all the fucking time would just get better and better at it every time. I'm a foodie and a podcaster. Deal with it, bitch. <laughs> I think once we said we had a podcast, we'd fucking lose all of them. Oh, we're out, right? Yeah, it's probably worse than being a foodie. They're <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, for sure, dude. <laughs> Not probably. <laughs> dude. <laughs> It's so embarrassing. It is so to this embarrassing. day, it's embarrassing. I to still say. haven't told anybody about it. <laughs> yeah, me neither, dude. It's like a dirty little secret. Uh, anyway, I, what you my, got, man? Mine is not super long, but I do think Good. that it's that it's <laughs> worth bringing up. Uh, Miss Argentina, all oh, right, and Miss Puerto Rico mm. reveal they are married in se they got married in secret. Whoa! Did you know that? I didn't definitely Here's did that. not know and they're that. beautiful, man. And they're gorgeous. Wow. And that's why I bring it up because one of my biggest right, pet peeves. Let's go. We're, let's dive into this. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you and I have discussed this. Before. Yeah, but this is going to get us in a lot of trouble, so let's do it. Well, I, I'm also, also going to bring up my insecurities. Uh, no, don't. One of my, don't, my just... biggest pet peeves is when I see a, <laughs> uh -huh. a lesbian couple uh -huh. and one of the girls is very attractive oh right and the other and girl you're not sure if the other one is a girl looks like me <laughs> you know <laughs> so so my insecurity my jealousy all all of that shit just that's bottled inside of me okay just cause, comes cause you think, through the surface you think if you're gonna go for somebody that looks like that you could have just gone after me yeah, yeah. exactly i'll so, act like a right right <laughs> because <laughs> We almost had him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo. We almost canceled Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but that's what I, I feel like project when I see something like that. And I see this, and it's completely the opposite. I go like, of course. Everything <laughs> makes, makes sense. sense. Because why wouldn't you be attracted to that person if you're into the same sex, right? Right. So... But do you I've never understood it, man? Yeah, I never. And I, I understand that I won't. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I still don't fucking yeah. understand it. Yeah, La ladies, gentlemen, lesbians. <laughs> what we're saying is, as men, we don't fully understand lesbians that go for lesbians that look like men. Yeah, I don't fucking get it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> if you're attracted to women. Wouldn't you want to be a real feminine woman? Right, as as woman as woman can be. It'd be like. Right, same that, that's, and and honestly, the same thing goes for 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 gay guys, right? Why is it if a, if a gay guy is attracted to men? <laughs> like, if I was attracted to men, yeah. I would want a man that looks a lot like Chris. Okay, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? A masculine, handsome, tall guy. You yeah. know what I mean? Someone that could you protect me, you want take me to nice team. restaurants. <laughs> right. You know I, that I had that I don't <laughs> no, have to research you myself. Yeah, get in arguments with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> challenge me. You know. <laughs> He looks like a man, but what I wouldn't go after is like a man that looks very like a woman. Like you know? I was gonna say, what the fuck? That's like, he was doing this. Yeah, I was gonna say, but you better fucking point that hand <laughs> somewhere else, dude. Was I, wasn't, I wasn't fucking doing that. But like, if like a guy was wearing like a little top yeah. like that yeah, yeah, yeah. and like real little curly, shorts yeah. and was like shaking his hips, <laughs> That's very if good. I'm attracted to men, yeah. I don't understand why I would. Why be you would to go that. for that? Me too, yeah. man. I, I think it's if a little confusing. The way I am, I think I'd be more into a guy that would like can change my fucking brakes. I can build shit around the house. Yes. I was mm -hmm. like, fuck yes, I love you, dude. You can yeah. watch, Get it, over watch here. his muscles hit the fucking yeah. yes. with the hammer. Chest you know? hair. Chest hair. You I know? would even I think I would even be okay with like a dad bod. It's more like 
Just the essence the, of being a man. Of, and and also like a handy guy. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Like does stuff like he doesn't pick up his clothes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Ignores yeah. you on Sundays right. when football is out. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little confusing as as a as a straight person. Right. But yeah. once in a while, a lesbian couple gets it right, like these two <laughs> right, people. Yeah. And this then is about like, as right as well, you can get well, it. You can't really blame them, right? Yeah. At, yeah. at, at one point, considered the most beautiful woman in Puerto Rico mm-hmm. and the most beautiful women in Argentina. 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 <laughs> Argentina. <laughs> I was going to say Argentina, coño, but that's from uh, Spain. That's, uh, yeah. uh, that sounded was, also like kind of cu- <laughs> Cuban. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Oh, they say coño? Yeah, the Cubans, oh, okay. don't they? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got our accent. Spain is vale. La gilipolla que something like that. Oh, okay. Let's not and do action. Yeah, let's like, not do action. <laughs> Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So, uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> a, a, that, but that's super rare, right? It, like, super, I think so. Super rare. Yeah. And, it, and in theory, it shouldn't be. It, sh- it should be, uh, that should be a dime a dozen. That's how it should, that should always be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what's with the chain wallet thing? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You brought it up. Let's explore it. I just feel like a lot of lesbians have chain wallets. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's like one of those, you know how like fucking cholos dress the same for the last 50 years? Yeah. Well, lesbians have had chain wallets for the last 50 years. I'm just saying the style never what, went What out. else? Yeah. That's Sp- all. Spiky hair. Yeah. Spiky hair. Spiky hair. Mm-hmm. They're, they're definitely packing a lot of gel, right? They have <laughs> their... <laughs> There's no you know, it's somewhere on their spiky uh, hair. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. Um, well, anyways, that's what I had. Did you have something else? Anybody else? Oh, uh, no, I think the we're baby fucking dog? ready, dude. That was yeah, okay. we're ready. Fucking solid. All right, I do have. <laughs> I don't a... know. Are we in trouble? I don't know. Yeah. Who cares? Nobody's watching. Okay, I have a baby doll, and the baby doll of the week is, of course. <laughs> No, it's just someone was bugging on this shit. Astro the dog. He's a police dog yeah, in the UK. Uh, but boo Astros. Yeah, Astro. 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 Astro, yes. Astros, Astros, Astros go Astros fuck no. yourselves. Also, <clears throat> yay, you're a dog. Boo, you're a cop. <laughs> 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 and there you have it, Astro. <laughs> Fuck the Astro. No, what's going on with Astro? Astro's a police dog in the UK. His handler, uh, also police German officer. Shepherd? Yes. Oh, cool. And it's a uh, oh, uh, kind of a rare oh, color. Oh, he's very cute, yeah. He's uh, black. He has reverse raccoon reverse eyes. Reverse raccoon eyes. He's and like we'll a, obviously put he's it got up. Like, oh, he's, wow. he's actually got reverse German Shepherd. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, they're usually That's brown right. with black, but he looks like he's black with, with brown accents. Yeah, there was an attacker. Like um, the Donald Trump, I think. Going yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Reverse. And, and he uh, came Boo-boo to Astro the rescue. Again for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he came to his handler's rescue uh, and subdued a, uh, an individual and also was injured severely in the, uh, while doing so. Oh, shit. But he, he's fine, and he did get a, a nice little medal, the Hell little yeah. doggy. Good for him. Um, now, how do you guys feel about police dogs i typically think they're i think it's a little fucked up but i also like it i like it too I, man I, I think everybody's gangster until the dog comes out right and then and then so and then you just revert back to whatever primal thing is inside and you just that we love into, dogs into just like that ah! yeah, i don't yeah. like Everything. i don't like when they send them to go sniff out bombs and like oh let's oh, send yeah, fucking astro hey fuck let's send a robot or something i don't yeah. know i don't know if we need to send astro he just subdued somebody last week, and he did a good job. I, 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 I love the, the the police dogs. I think it's just like anything, right? It's scary if it's abused or or, or taken advantage of to have that 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 trained assassin ready to go on. But anybody. it's always so nice to see when dogs have a purpose in their like when they have a they job, when so they have something happier, to do, yeah. when yeah. they're trained to do something, and and they have a real purpose. <laughs> right, and, right. and they seem it seems like you'd have very, a happier they life. Very as a fulfilled, dog. yeah. They yeah, seem uh-huh. very fulfilled. Yeah. So it's it's good for the dog. I mean, again, I like it, but I I'm just worried about that it being authority. Used, yeah, like used a, incorrectly. Right. And it's a risk we're willing to take. I feel. Uh, do you think they use them incorrectly a lot of the time? It doesn't seem like it, right? I don't see enough videos of like 
you know, somebody taking a stick of gum or whatever and fucking sending Astro. <laughs> you know, I, it's usually like it's, I'm sure they're scared when they send they have to send their dog out, you know, because I would they're just, so attached to the dog, right? Yeah, that's, gotta be part that's of a it. good point, man. Yeah, they're probably like, fuck, all right, here we go. You know, oh, be fuck, careful. Right, uh, also, like, it, it looks like the, like, once you're in the real shit, there's, you tap into the dogs, also primal thing. And I, I've seen a lot of videos where they kind of struggle a little bit to make the dog let go. So that's oh, probably yeah, a little yeah. worrisome, too, mm-hmm. right? Like, what if this dog fucking takes his motherfucker's arm off? I'm always surprised <sighs> at, like, the stuff that they can train the dog to smell. Mm, they're what? like oh, like oh, the anything drugs? yeah smell a bomb <laughs> yeah what the fuck does a bomb <laughs> smell like you know Good what i mean point, dude how yeah. do they uh, oh yeah. yeah i smell that fucking bomb yeah. or like anything a piece of whatever you want them to smell mm-hmm. they can find it dude they were training dogs to smell covid remember that shit oh that's yeah, right dude. how the fuck do you smell exactly COVID? they can smell anything covid would make you lose your sense of smell exactly and you're gonna and train this guy to the- there they that's how they know they found it when they can't fucking smell anymore. That's probably- <laughs> <laughs> got it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Do you think you think you could train your dog to smell your partners so see if they cheat or not? Oh, oh definitely. I'm sure, dude. That's oh. a strong scent. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. Yeah. You dirty go bitch. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> No, and how would you train him? Obviously, it would well, start off by by sniffing you a lot, right? No, no, no. You just have her you just train her Train the dog train to smell to her smell vagina. Her, or just her, right? Like, I'm saying, like, her scent, focus on her scent. Whenever there's any trace of any other scent. They sit right next to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're all, you fucking bitch, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. No, but they have I to know. They bomb. have to know if it's not your scent, too, Oh, right? yeah. Well, they, they so would they, have know, to be, they would know the, your the, scent. The I training think. is going to involve the whole lot of privacy uh, being violated on your end, we too. Just, you just... Take her used panties. I, I think that that'd be like the eat because that's like a strong scent for a dog, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A yeah person. there's no way it's not. Yeah, so whenever there's a, a new thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. And what do you think it is about the dog, like when they go straight up to a woman's vagina and like just smell it and they go <laughs> up to your dick and they start smelling it? What do you think they're doing? It's it's because all- they they'll sometimes just go straight at it. They'll go straight at the you know, and the girl's like, "Oh God," and you're like, "Oh, sorry." You it's know? all it's <laughs> it's all information, what? man. It it's all it's all like it's all. Did you say information? Information. Or? Okay. It's what all- do you think he said? Disinformation. It, it, no, inflammation. Oh, it's all <laughs> oh, inflammation. It's all inflammation. <laughs> I don't know. I heard his dick is inflamed. huge. Yeah. Get your pussy checked. <laughs> My dog just thinks your put your lips are inflamed. It inflames a little bit. <laughs> I'd be proving really helps. <laughs> no, I think it's all information. I mean, you guys don't ever feel like you could get some off of smelling somebody? Oh, speaking of that, dude, I went to Big Lots this weekend to buy a mattress. <laughs> yeah, there's, your first mistake. there's your first mistake. Add second. <laughs> and, the guy, so, and the guy at the mattress section, whoa, he fucking smelled so bad, dude. Mm. And he was just helping customers. And I can see ladies just like, Backing up when See, they were that's, asking that's questions. All, that's all information. Yeah. That's all Stay information. That he probably sleeps there in the mattress section. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Big Lots Master. Did you buy a, did you end up getting one? No. Okay. We were just, we, were, we went to Big Lots for some other stuff, but we were in the mattress section checking them out. And then, I feel like mattresses have got, a, you can get an affordable mattress for cheap now. Like yeah, those ones no, that you order it online and it comes the next day and you roll it out of the box. That's what I do. It's, yeah, it's like 200 bucks. The, like the nectar. Yeah, uh-huh. I got to sponsor us on. And I think uh, I my- love my nectar mattress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So, yeah. Well, Astro, Astro, you are the baby doll of the week. <laughs> Sorry for shitting you a little bit. <laughs> I felt I felt like I've smelled women's pussies before and gotten some information out of that. For sure. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying like we have that like, hey, you can't do that, but the dog doesn't. What kind of no, information? Yeah. How did you process that information? <laughs> what well, depends? It depends on what kind of information was coming in. Okay, but that's why I'm asking. I wonder what-, what type of information they're collecting because they smell. They smell the butts right away, right? That's mm-hmm. like a I go smell the butt. Yeah, and that's like a thing that they do, and I always wonder. What information are they collecting, or what are they know, trying man. to find I, out? I think that with each other, with dogs, and I, obviously they they see they. I don't think they see people as dogs, but I think that's you know they see them as like oh this is a that's how they like a, my cousin of a, a part of a family. But I think with each other they can sense um, hierarchies. 
how 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 strong or tough one is over how old another, they are how old they are <laughs> right. things like that and i you think, think so yeah i think i think that with each other like they can smell like if you go and you, <laughs> you smell an alpha you know like oh this motherfucker will fuck me up but my right. dogs smell each other all the time and but then you, like they'll come back and then one of them comes back from like the backyard and the other one smells <laughs> the other one in the ass and i was like <laughs> was like how old are astro. you <laughs> yeah well, how old are you motherfucker you ask me every day this week <laughs> I, I, I'm still fucking 14. Maybe dude. they're checking on their health. Checking like, on their health. Are you okay? They're oh, checking yeah. on their oh, health. Yeah, okay. huh? Instead of saying, "Hey, how you, babe? How you feeling?" They're yeah. just like, they, they sniff your ass. No, 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 okay, no, he's doing all, He's yeah, doing yeah, okay. Yeah, he's doing good. Well, Astro's right. a good baby doll. And speaking of baby dolls, you guys got to be baby dolls and hit the like button and subscribe button. Yes, sir. Yep. I mean, you guys know two hot ass lesbians <laughs> that just got married in secret. Show them this, this episode. episode. If you guys know anybody uh, that has a hobby and they're a foodie, show, show them this, this episode. episode. You know if you, you guys know anybody that likes uh, <laughs> Love is Blind, show, show them, them this, this episode. episode. See you guys. See you Peace. next week.